screw this cup. This is Kim from Put A Cup In It, and if you're watching this now and you're not subscribed, please take a moment, hit the button, be subscribed, and be updated. Thanks to a Reddit post, I discovered a brand called Amy Cup Vitality, which is what you see here. It is a menstrual cup, and it comes with this device. Now, the post did not really say what the device did, and the website was also no more clarifying. So being the menstrual cup enthusiast that I am, and the curiosity was killing me, I decided to order one of each size. Because there were really no instructions on whether this was an applicator or not, for the first time in forever, for the first time in forever, I had to consult the instructions. And I certainly needed to understand, was this an applicator? And I couldn't imagine it would be because you cannot just force an open cup inside you, but I was willing to read and see if that was the case. Um, and it is not. So this cup and this golf tee thing, which uh, a friend of mine now refers to as a vag tee, and I'm stealing it, it is a vag tee, is only for the extraction, and I feel like that's the best word to use for a device like this instead of removal. It is for the extraction of the cup. So they say it is the only menstrual cup in the world with an extractor that makes it simple and easy to remove without the fingers coming into contact with the intimate, intimate, part. intimate, 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 intimate. Now it's time to put it in. I'm a little scared. <laughs> so this just came in the mail and it's the Amy Cup Vitality. It is a screw removal system. And I am on my period. I started yesterday. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try it. So wish me luck. Putting this cup in because it does have this little thing inside of it was a little bit of a challenge for me. Um, I typically like the punch down fold, but as you can imagine, when you try to punch it down all the way, there's something in the way. So you have this gigantic base to have to try to shove in. Um, so then I tried the U-fold, which is not my favorite, but it's such a thick silicone and it is a pretty firm cup. And this is also a gigantic diameter. Um, I mean, I'm not saying like it's not gonna go in or anything. I'm just saying that for some people, it would probably be uncomfortable um, and lubrication might be better for that uh, to get this in. I just had a hard time getting it in and I was texting some friends of mine who get vagina updates from me and I was likening it to trying to insert something that's not quite ready, if you get my drift, um, something a little less than fully uh, firm and just trying to like muscle it in, just like, <sighs> so that was me muscling it in. But I will say there was a positive to this unique design and that was kind of once it opened inside, which it opened very fast because I couldn't keep the darn thing folded, I was able to use this divot to really just push with my finger and push it up. What I'm gathering from the instructions and from them designing something like this is that they were trying to give people an option for using a cup that would keep you from touching your intimate, intimate, intimate. Um, so you don't want to get your hands dirty. And I mean, I'm going to admit that that is a reason that some people don't want to use cups. And I advocate that it's actually a good reason to use cups because you can get familiar with your body by using a cup and comfortable with your body, um, which you should be. But, you know, there are, there, let's just not crap on them immediately for the concept, although I kind of want to. Their extraction tool is them trying to make it a less messy affair. Okay. <laughs> um, so once it was in and I got it pushed up with my finger and it actually by, if I could really get the hang of folding this thing and using my finger to push it up, it wasn't really that involved to get it in. I mean, it wasn't like a big thing, but what I did find out was that this flared base made it really hard and awkward for me to try to check that the cup was open. And sure enough, it really was leaking quite a bit for me. And it was only a few hours before I had to remove it because of the leaking. And I was just, I was wearing period underwear as a backup. In fact, I was wearing the new Isle hipster pants, the formerly Luna pads, period underwear. And this is not a review for Isle, but I really did love their new period panties. So um, I'll link 
their new company in the description if you want to look at those. I, I was really happy with those. Um, but they got I had them because this thing was not containing much of anything. And then it was time for me to take it out. And this is what this whole design is for. It's for extracting. Um, so I got to experience that. And now uh, this is how it went. I'm going to try to screw this and remove a mineral cup for the first time. Um, not sure how the best way to go about this is because you are sort of blindly. Yeah, this is. I don't like this. I think I got it in the hole. Nope. <laughs> that was not it. This is a bloody screw now. This is wonderful. Wow, that was. Okay. So I just had to put in a finger and reposition the cup so it's centered and got blood everywhere. Um, I think I can feel the lip of the thing. This is not pleasant. So what's happening that I can't show you is that the cup is tilting to the left. And so I've repositioned it once, centering it, and I've shoved the screw all inside my vagina. And then because it wants to tilt, I'm just catching the edge of the suction-y um, outer rim thing that looks like a suction cup on the bottom. So I cannot get this in. And I am a mess. And it is just like, because it's not your hand, you can't feel where you're going. It's just like stabbing. There, that's what's happening. It's not working, I'm gonna have to use my hands. So as you can see, I did not succeed in even getting the screw inside. Um, not something I would have in my wildest dreams been happy about as a first time menstrual cup user. So the second time I wore the cup was the next day. I actually, I was so fed up with it from the first time um, that I just couldn't even, whatever. So I will let you see some of that footage and I will cut it because it was uh, over five minutes of trying to get this cup out. <laughs> and it like, I don't even know how to explain it. I can't without breaking the seal. cervix or what? So it's in and I just can't pull it out with this thing. It won't, it won't release the suction. I just have to break the seal. It's in there good. I need two hands. Oh. I 
have the seal broken, but like I can't get it out. Okay, I got it out. Four minutes, 44 seconds. That didn't go so well. <laughs> uh, it was successful in that I got the screw in. So we're doing much better than we did the first time. What I did is I screwed it all the way tight. And then the thing that they tell you in the instructions and which I was concerned about was breaking the seal. So here are the instructions. And I will show you because I love the way they put this. Insert the pull-out screw extractor, which will align itself with the base of the cup. A couple of turns will be sufficient. Then move it slightly to eliminate the suction effect. Extract it and empty the contents. Um, yeah. It doesn't exactly align itself. I mean, it kind of does. I know what they mean by that, but it doesn't. And then move it slightly. So this is how they gloss over the fact that menstrual cups create a suction. So after it's screwed in, they tell you to move it slightly, which is the most vague sort of instruction for this thing. Move it slightly. Do they mean pull it down slightly? Do they mean move it to the left slightly? Do they mean wiggle it around like this? Um, I don't usually have suction issues with cups. I was worried about trying this cup to be able to say, does this actually break the seal for people or not um, because sometimes cups just don't create that kind of seal for me. They just don't. Um, and so when I was, after I got it in, once I turned it to a certain amount all the way, it actually kind of started like cramping. Um, I felt like a, a, an intense shot of pain. Like I more so created a suction <laughs> more than letting it go. So I was like, okay, well, it says to move it slightly. So I did try whatever maneuver, trying to move it slightly. Um, and I could just tell already this was not going well. This is a plastic vagina. But there's no way to use this screw and slightly break the seal. It just doesn't work. It just does not do what it's supposed to. So I have this cup stuck inside of me and I can't get it out. And I can't break the suction with this screw. Now, the other issue that I really had with this cup is it's designed for the screw removal. It's not meant to be removed with your hands. There's no grips on this cup. So I'm trying desperately to get in here and break the seal and also pull it. I can't grip it because it's covered in blood um, and the screw is not getting it out of me. And so I'm actually grabbing this little flange and just squeezing the hell out of it, reaching inside. I can't even get it out of this fucking thing. Okay, finally got it out. So I'm never doing that again, ever. And you wanna see what else happened? I was washing it and I threw it into the sink. And then it went everywhere. Yep. I'm never doing that again. So this little handbell, uh, I don't like it at all. So my camera stopped recording. I was in a whole rant. <laughs> uh, so anyway, menstrual cups are extremely tactile items. And what I didn't realize until trying this cup that has a tool device to, to remove it is just how much you really rely on your sense of touch to use your cup. Um, and it's, you know, putting it in, you want it to, to know that it's open, to feel that it's open, to understand the positioning. Um, with this removal process, you want to find the cup and break the seal and move it down. Um, and having to rely on this tool and not being able to feel anything just highlighted how important it is to use hands and that really 
told me that there's just probably no way any sort of cup or disc or whatever that uses a tool is going to be successful for the majority of people. Um, certainly, if I were going to continue using this, which I'm not, I'm just done with it, um, that it would take a lot of practice for me to get the hang of it. And what I mentioned before is that the cup doesn't sit straight up and down. I mean, it does this. Well, guess what? I'm using this, and this feels like it's a hole. So I was kind of just poking at this forever until realizing, oh, and then I stuck my finger inside, felt around, and then I was like, oh, there's the hole. Tried to move it, and it wouldn't stay. So here I am again, poking at that little corner, thinking it's the hole. It's just you need your hand. You need your sense of touch. Um, and any device that is also trying to say you can use a tool so that you don't have to touch your intimate, intimate part, part, God forbid, um, is just kind of sending the wrong message in general. And I, I promise you that I definitely did not like the concept of this cup once I realized what it was really for. I mean, I bought it not really understanding it because it wasn't clear online. Um, but I also like being proven wrong, especially when it comes to kooky ideas and products and cups and shapes and whatever. Um, I was certainly proven wrong about reusable discs, um, and now I really like them. So I almost was hoping this was going to be like a really cool thing. And frankly, they put a lot of time and energy and thought into this product for what now seems to be no good reason because it just is not a nice, I mean, it just doesn't. I just wouldn't, I just wouldn't recommend it. I think your hands are fine. And I was, for the record, far messier trying to learn how to use this thing. I feel like you should be doing like this, like, mm, like you know, punching someone. Felt like I should be doing this when I was screwing it. Um, you know, I was far messier than I've ever been with any cup or any disc. And discs are very messy. I've been upfront about that. Um, trying to get this thing out than I have just ever been. I just have never been this messy. I did have a thought about this being good for people with a high cervix because you get a lot of extra leverage to reach something than you do with your fingers to remove something that if you can't break the seal, um, you might have trouble removing if the cup is sitting up high, but this does not break the seal. And so it doesn't solve that problem. That's it for me. Um, I am already worked myself up ranting about this cup that I feel like I'm going to take on the day and cut some people. Uh, <laughs> so that's how, that's how my day is starting, getting angry. Um, if you are not already subscribed to Put a Cup in It, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and be notified of any other things I stick up there. And leave a comment. Let us know what you think about this cup. And maybe you're going to try it anyway, you know, let me know how it goes for you. And if you are just here seeing us on YouTube and you haven't discovered all of our other social medias, I was talking about this on our Instagram stories before it went live. So you can get hints as to what's to come here on the channel. So follow at Put a Cup in It on Instagram or also on Facebook. And as always, I would love to promote our troubleshooting group called Put a Cup in a Community on Facebook. We now have 50,000 members and you can go in there and get help. And I was also posting this as I was going live, kind of giving people updates on how it was going, which was not good. Um, so it's a fun place to hang out. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're staying safe and we'll see you on the next video. Bye. I was able to just do this and like, kind of, I mean, I could do this all fucking real, real, Whip, cool whip, whip, real. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me today? Um.